pow, pow, pow. Welcome to Dare Danger Dan. Uh, on this episode, I'm gonna do whatever the hell I want because this is my show after all. So buckle up and get ready because I'm drawing with the Sumi ink again. And if I get it on your stuff, sue me. <laughs> where to begin, where to begin, where to begin, where to begin. Hmm. I guess I'll take my trusty little skull shot glass and just my paintbrush here. And we'll just get started, what do you say? Oh yeah, so if anyone out there in TV land wants to go ahead and ask me to add anything to this, go for it. I'm just kind of just coming off the top of my head here and drawing whatever. I'm not sure, I'm not really editing myself. I'm not like, hey, what are you drawing right now, Dan? I'm drawing a face that I, I think now that I'm like in the middle of drawing it, might be inspired by one of the characters from Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the original one. The guy that runs the gas station. Sort of looks like him a little bit, I think at least. What you doing now? Those ears, those horns? No, they're pudgy worms. Pudgy worm friends, well, I'm a pudgy worm friend, are you? A pudgy worm friend as well? And then the other pudgy worm friend says, yes, hello. I'm also a pudgy worm friend. Yeah, well, we'll find out, because I don't even know yet, actually. Here's the, the, what is it? I don't even know. I don't even know. I've never drawn this before. Otherwise, not really that friendly looking of a guy. Let's add someone that is friendly. Yeah, I don't know, something off-putting about it. Let's add somebody who's nice, actually nice. Yeah, that's a sandwich. Don't you know art when you see art? That's art, it's not a sandwich. You can't eat it though if you want. We're gonna put a happy little circus freak right over here. He's small, he's strong. If you hang out long enough, he'll sing you a song. He's small, he's strong. His head is really big. What else can we fit into this nightmare? Here's what you people need to know about your old pal, Danger Dan. So, when I was a little tiny tyke, gay about between the ages of like one and four, I had night terrors every single night. Like, I mean, like, I would full lip out. I had the most vivid, horrifying, monster-filled, violent nightmares you could ever imagine. My mom thought I was possessed. She literally had priests read over me and pour holy water on me. By day, I was just a very mild-mannered, kind of sweet, smiling kid that drooled a lot and drew pictures constantly. But I really didn't come into my own until one day after my mom had tried, my mom had tried everything to solve this night terror problem, including religion and all sorts of stuff. She just decided one day to make her own Move her, her own mom magic. And she uh, knitted this like weird, kind of like uh, diamond shaped thing. I didn't ask about it, she didn't tell me about it, but after that, the night terrors went away. And all of a sudden I started like really drawing all the demonic imagery that would come to me in my dreams. And that's never stopped. Basically opened up a hole. Like who cares, do I care? All right, so anyone that stuck around to watch this whole episode of Dare Danger Dan, you win a medal. Uh, it's in the mail already. I know what your address is. Uh, thanks for tuning in to this episode of Dare Danger Dan, where I've dared myself to do whatever I want, which was this ink painting, which uh, let's go through it for a minute. So we got this like kind of like creepy looking redneck guy who has these like chubby worm friends as ears wearing a tiny cowboy hat and a lump on top of his head. He's smoking a giant cigarette while holding a tiny woman who's holding the switchblade while this cowpoke uh, river otter fang monster lady person is testing the pointiness of this tiny woman's switchblade while in the other hand, fanged otter woman is holding a tiny middle-aged man that looks a little bit like Ted Cruz naked drinking a coffee while a uh, little tiny muscular boxer circus strongman with a gigantic head is ready for a fight. But he's got a good humor about it. He's smiling with his little buck teeth. They're on top of a roof in a city or is it a prairie? Who cares? I don't care. You don't care. But you know what? Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> and there's going to be many more Dare Danger Dance. It's just going to get weirder from here. Weirder and weirder and weirder. So stick around because 
big things are happening or tiny little things, it doesn't matter. Things, bye.